Hi, it's Evangeline from eTrader.com, and today we are looking at the Swagman Quad 2 Plus 2 4 bike platform rack here on our 2020 Chevrolet Tahoe. This is a great bike rack for when you want to bring all your friends or all your family, load them into your Tahoe, and load your bikes on this bike rack. It's also 2 Plus 2, meaning if you just want to go with you and your friend or your partner or your child, you can just remove the other two and use the two bike platform. So the way our bike is mounted to our bike rack here is by three points. So we have one, two wheel straps. If you look at these wheel straps, they have this nice um, cushion here to protect your bike from scratches and scuffs. And they ratchet down to secure your wheel to the strap. The cradles also have, um, can accommodate tire widths of up to three inches. If you have flat tire bikes, you can also get separate cradles to accommodate up to five inch widths. So to dismount your bike, I like to start with the wheel straps. So just press the lever and pull the strap up. So press the lever, pull the strap up and out of the way. And from here, you then release the frame mount. So you start with the top one, then you hold the second one. These frame mounts can be locked, so we have them unlocked, so we just press the lever and pull them up. With the frame mount out of the way, you can just take your bike out and you're ready to go on a trip. Let's put this right there. So with the bike dismounted, I like to just put the straps back in, just so they're not flying around when I'm driving around. It's nice, it's orderly, and you can see how easily they ratchet down into place. So to bring down our mast, what you need to do is pull this lever that says pull, and then the mast just, all right, goes down. So let's bring these levers up here against our wheel cradles. There you go, that looks good. So with it in this position, you have to remember that when you're driving around with a bike rack, you have some extra length added to the back of your vehicle. So let's see exactly how much. From the back bumper of our Tahoe to the back of these wheel cradles, it is a distance of 47 inches. Now that's a fair amount of length, but you have to consider that you do have four bikes on there. Now as for ground clearance, let's see. From the end of our bike rack, it is about 29 and a half inches. Just something to think about when you're driving up a steep hill or a driveway. So if you want to access your hatch, you need to do so with the bikes off because this does not tilt the way. So let's see if we have clearance here. Yep, all right. So from here, you can just get your groceries, uh, put them in there, access the rear. So you do have clearance and it doesn't even come close to this point. This bike rack also folds up and to do so, you need to remove this clip right over here and then take out that pin. With that removed, you can then lift the bike rack up and there you go, it stops itself right there. So now you just need to put that pin back in. If it's a tight fit, you might need to just move the mast around a bit just to make sure there's enough space for that pin to go back in. Right, it's a little tricky, but honestly, I kind of like that because then I know that once the pin is in, my bike rack is secure. All right, there we go. Let's get that clip into place. Perfect. With it folded up like that, let's see how much length it adds to the back of our vehicle now. From our back bumper, to the back of this bike rack, it's 15 inches. 
So that's a huge difference compared to when it was folded down from the closest point of the vehicle, which is our door here to the end of the cradle. It's 10 and a half inches. So that's a lot of clearance. The way our bike rack is hitched onto our vehicle, it fits into two inch hitches and it comes with an anti-rattle bolt and a lock. Now, because we do have it in our factory hitch, our Tahoe has the wiring bracket right here, so we could not fit the lock on. Just something to think about when you use this bike rack. It does have a thread though, so that will really help with security because it'll take a while to undo that bolt anyways. All right, so with all those features discussed, my thoughts about this bike rack is that it's, I like how it has that two plus two design because then if I wanna bring my whole family, out on a bike rack, I can take them with one, two, three, four bike platform rack. But if I just wanna go with my friend, I can take out this top part really easy, really quickly, and we're good to go. It's nice, it's sturdy, I think it works great. So that was a look at the Swagman Quad 2 Plus 2 bike rack here on our 2020 Chevrolet Tahoe. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole, or driving over uneven pavement.